welcome back to another episode of Recoil Small Engine. As you've seen by the title and thumbnail, today we're fixing a side-by-side -side tire. It's got a pop in it and it's flat. Uh, you can see I can push right on it. This tire is brand new, uh, the 46th week of 21. Um, it's so new that it's still got uh, uh, paint lines. Let me just drop you in there. It's so new it's still got the uh, paint chalk lines on it. If you look right in here, there's still the paint line. So we're looking for a hole. I'm gonna put some air in this. I'm gonna find the hole. And uh, once I locate it, I'll show you. And we're just gonna put a regular plug in. Um, just because this is a low speed tire, it, there's not going to be a whole lot of highway um, driving. And these aren't high-speed tires. If you're using high-speed tires, replace the tire. But because these are off-road tires and they're um, slow-moving within, you know, they're not going faster than 90k an hour. Um, so, you know, I don't see any use in just replacing it. This is looking a little suspect right here. I'm not sure, though. I'm going to fill it up, dip it in a big barrel of water. See if I can find where it's leaking. If it's a sidewall leak, um, might just fill it uh, with a tube and call it good that way. Otherwise, we're going to try and patch it and keep it tubeless. Tubeless is lighter for the side-by-sides. But this is off of our brand new 2022 Terex 4. 46 week of 21 this tire was made. So it's, well, as you see, it's still got the, the uh, wear marks on it. So I'm going to locate this leak and I'll show you how to patch a leaked tire. All right, so I located the leak. It is right there. Hopefully you can hear it. Right in the kind of side of the tire. Uh, you pull that back. It looks like she got a nail or something. I'm going to put a plug in there and that will be a fixed tire. So I'm going to go get my plugs. I got to go find them. I think they're in my quad. We'll stick our tool in there, ream that hole out, drop a plug in there and see if she Hopefully leaks. this is going to show up good. So here's the tools you need. This has been used a few times with some wet tires. This is your reamer tool. This makes the hole a little bigger. This here is the plug tool and these are the plugs. We're going to put these plugs in there um, and then you need a side cutter to nip off the ends. So here's what you do. Hopefully this shows up. I got a chest mount on, different style video today. It's kind of what I am going for. Uh, there's a couple videos in the pro in progress, so when this popped up, I really did like it. So stick this in. Here we go, so it's in. Come back and forth a couple times. Okay, ream that hole out so the hole is reamed out. We're gonna level out our tire so that it holds. Then you grab one of your patches, your plugs. And you pop it out of the plastic there and that goes through this is gross sticky you know after about two years these plugs are still good which is pretty crazy so you get them so that they're about halfway through so what I did was ran the end in then you take all your other tools away because this might launch them and we're going to put this end in our reamed out tire and this is where it's going to be hard to film okay so now i'm in okay like so we're going to go in a bit and then just pull out hard like so and that is a plug tire perfect that's what we need now you come back over it with a side cutter and you just nip the ends off, not level, but just above level. Because you want, uh, these will wear down over time like a tire will. 
Um, and the old, so you just leave this here and I just kind of push it in and make it look somewhat decent. And there's your patch. I wish I had a black patch, but um, that's that's the tire fixed. That's as easy it is as it is. So uh, thank you for watching, and we'll All see right. you next. Time. So you can hear it's got 30 pounds of pressure in it, and it ain't even leaking. So uh, I'll do a short here in about six weeks, well, a couple weeks, I guess, and we'll see how this plug holds up. I don't know if we have to put a second one in or not. And this tire does have air in it. Like, I can't push in the uh, center. Now, at first I thought maybe this was the damage, but this is just poor workmanship. Like, this whole tire is, right? Like, the rubber from the molds, everywhere you look, it's bad. But, uh, like I say, this tire is pretty well new. It was the 40-something week of 21. Let's look. Oh, do we have it on this side? No, we don't. So yeah, the 40, 48th week of 2021. Um, that's how we read our age of our tires. I could walk up to any tire. Um, does this one have the date? As long as they got the date code on the right side, which that one. Uh, yeah, I don't even see a date code on that one. So uh, yeah, 